Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about styles and colors. Now, one of the cool things you can do in HTML is you can actually style the individual elements. And when you style HTML elements, you can use something called a style attribute and you can actually give each of these HTML elements certain styling information. Now, when we're talking about styling HTML, there's an entire other subject that you can get into, which is called CSS. And that stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So in this lesson, I just wanna kind of give you an introduction into how you can use basic CSS to style some of these HTML elements. Now, this isn't a meant to be a full course on CSS. And in fact, this Draft Academy course is really only meant to be used for HTML. We have another course that talks solely about CSS, but just know for now, I wanna introduce you to the topic of styling some of your HTML. You can see over here, I have this uh, header up here and then I have this paragraph here in my file. And I can actually give these uh, two color attributes. I can color the text and I can actually give them a background color as well. So in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can start adding some basic colors onto the elements for your HTML. But again, keep in mind that this isn't meant to be like a full course on CSS. This isn't meant to be a full course on styling. I just wanna give you guys an introduction. So in here in this paragraph, I can pass this paragraph an attribute. So in HTML, in addition to just defining the tag, you can also give the HTML tag certain information. These are called like attributes or properties or some people call them parameters. I'm gonna give this something called style. So I type out style is equal to, and now inside of these quotation marks, I can type out some different style attributes that I wanna give to this element. One of them is color and color is gonna control the color of the text for this paragraph. I can do a colon, and now I can basically just type out uh, any color that I want. So let's use blue, because that's one of my favorite colors. So now when I refresh this page, you'll notice that this paragraph over here has turned blue. And so instead of just being that boring black color, now it's blue. We could also change it to red. And now, it will be red. So you can use a bunch of these different colors and you can change the color of the text. I could also change something called background color. So in addition to changing the color to red, let's change the background color to maybe blue. So now I can type out background hyphen color and I can pass in another color. So let's make this blue. And so now this paragraph will have its text colored as red and it'll have its background colored as blue, just like that. And so you can use these different color combinations to control the background of the text and the color of the text. And you can also use these attributes in other elements. So for example, I could use this same thing inside of this header right here. I could say style. And remember, this is just a, an attribute that we're passing in. I could say color, and now we'll make this green. So I can make this thing green. And I can also use these stylings on these container tags. So up here we have this body tag. I could give this a style as well. So I can say style. And why don't we give this a background color? So I'm gonna give this a background color of light blue. So I'll say background color, light blue. And now what you'll see is the entire body, so the entire body of our HTML, so all of this stuff is gonna turn blue. And that's exactly what happened. So you can use this background color inside of this body tag to control the background of the website. And what you'll notice is, even though we made the background of the body light blue, since we made the background of this paragraph blue as well, it's overriding the styling that we got from the body. So that's how you can use this style attribute in order to give your HTML elements some basic style. And if you wanna learn more about styling your elements, Draft Academy has a full course talking about CSS where we get into all of this stuff, styling your HTML, doing all of that. But for now, if you're just trying to learn HTML, and I would definitely recommend learning HTML first, just know that you can use these basic coloring styles to change the look and the feel of your website. 
Now I want to show you a website where you can go to to find all of the colors that you can use. So this is a website called W3 Schools and you can just kind of Google search like W3 Schools color list and it'll give you a list of all these CSS colors. So again, don't worry too much about CSS. Just know that you can use these inside of those style tags. So this is just a full list of like the name of the color. And if you don't want to pass in the name, so like I could say like aqua inside one of those style tags and it would color the text or the background aqua. You can also just put these uh, hex tags in there. So you could copy this guy and put it in place of the color name and it's still gonna work. So that's just some basics on using color and styling in HTML. Again, if you're just trying to learn HTML, don't worry too much about styling, but I just wanted to show you guys like the basics of styling an element, just so you can kind of like get your teeth wet and start working with styling inside of your HTML. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.